Hello, my name is Alex Shorkey. I am a grad student here at Lawrence Tech in the Architectural Engineering Department. I chose Lawrence Tech primarily for its campus and the community atmosphere it creates. You always see friendly faces as you're walking around and you always have time to meet one-on-one -on -one with your professors um, any time of the week. So today I will be showing you around our lighting lab, so come on. Here is one of our main features in the lighting lab. As you can see behind these doors, we have some power and distribution equipment that we would use in the field as a engineer or a lighting designer. This right here is a typical panel board you'll see in a project. And this really helps us to visualize what our, um, what our devices would look like as they're actually applied in the field. Um, so it's really good to visualize this as you're designing. And over here is another display that uh, we like to use a lot. And this is a typical distribution equipment that would supply your building with all the power it needs. Um, this is a sub substation, so this would be your transformer and your circuit breaker. And these are really helpful to help us visualize what the equipment looks like in real life. And over here, you'll see that we have some ceiling tiles that expose the elements that go above the ceiling. And this is really good for us to see how the lighting and electrical components interact with other disciplines, such as structural, mechanical. Um, you wanna make sure you're not clashing with any of their elements and systems that go into a project. We also have a lot of different lighting types installed in this room to help us see what all the different types of lighting can do. So over there, you'll see some uh, track lighting, and those have different types of track heads, such as you know, spotlights that are circular and also linear ones that are more long and uh, rectangular-like. And these ones up here are called linear pendants, and so they hang a little bit from the ceiling to give illuminance to the ceiling itself as well as the floor below it. And over here is another important aspect of lighting that we can see, which is color temperature. So these lights that are on the wall, as you can see all the way in the back left, um, that one's a lot whiter than these ones up here that are more yellowy tinted. And it's a good way to visualize how different um, lighting color temperatures can be perceived. Lighting is one of the many avenues that you can study here in the architectural engineering department. You can also do structural, mechanical, or pure electrical. And I hope you come to check it out. Bye.